I'm Elise High here in Asheville for the Men's Southern Conference Basketball Tournament here with head basketball coach Mike Young. Coach, back-to-back -back Southern Conference champs. What's going through your mind right now? How do you feel? A lot of things, Elise. You know, feeling of relief, um, complete, um, you know, elation, uh, and, and so proud of a group of guys that, you know, I've told you many times, I admire, I re appreciate and respect greatly. And uh, to do it again, back to back, four out of six years, and uh, the opportunity to go back to the greatest tournament on earth, the NCAA tournament, you know, here in 10 days is, uh, is the ultimate, and um, we look forward to that. Overall, an, a hugely successful season. Looking back at the season, could you just talk about the journey of the season a little bit, the highs, the lows, how do you feel about it overall? Um, it was fun and as rewarding as any that I've been a part of. It all comes back to players now, players and staff and, um, you know, Elise, our athletic trainer. I mean, all those guys, our program, everybody in there is a big deal. Harry uh, Belafonte Morris, our, our very capable student assistant, just a wonderful group of folks that, you know, had a lot of expectations coming in. Um, you know, to be picked number one doesn't always doesn't necessarily mean that's going to how it, you know, it plays out. You got to go play, and you've got to have some luck, um, and you've got to be blessed with good health. You know, Furman, for instance, loses the Acox kid who'd put together a very good Southern Conference tournament to a broken foot. You know, if something like that happens. That that can uh, that can certainly you know affect uh, affect your team. But I think back to uh, the uh, Iona game at 7 a.m., uh, the 24-hour uh, marathon, and NC State, uh, the Sam Houston uh, win was a significant win while in Connecticut um, to come out of non-league play at 9-4 and four against the schedule we had to play was, uh, was a remarkable achievement. And then 16-2 and two in uh, our regular season, now you reset you know, the, the, the button, if you hit the reset button, if you will, and you've got to come up here and find a way to win a game. And we did that against Greensboro, and we had the opportunity to come back and win another game. One, three one-game seasons, and, um, you know, we completed that deal and got out of here with uh, another championship. You know, I could talk to you for 30 minutes about all the uh, wonderful things that have happened to this team, for this team, um, but we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> you come up here to Asheville to finish your SOCON season. What does it mean to you having the tournament here in Asheville? Well, I, I can't imagine. There's not. There's not a better venue. There's not a better um, city for our tournament than, uh, than Asheville. Uh, the hotels, the restaurants. The volunteers here and, and those responsible for putting this tournament on uh, are some of the finest in the business, and we owe them a great deal of, uh, 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 of gratitude uh, for their efforts and what they've done uh, to uh, make this a first-class experience for our players, and that's what it's all about. I mean, it's, it's for those guys, and um, uh, nobody does it better. I, I'm, I'm convinced of that. And, um, I hope to coach for quite some time, and um, I hope that we come here every year that, uh, you know, every year possible. Well, Coach, obviously an awesome experience here in Nashville. Congratulations on your championship. Elise, thank you a lot. Uh, and 22, that's what you're ranked in the nation defensively. I don't know if you know that that's where you're ranked in the nation defensively. You know why? Because we guard every single possession. Whether we're up 10, whether we're down 10, we guard every single possession. It's going to take a top 25 defensive effort tonight, right? Let's go. Hey, not a lot of stuff for me. We know exactly what's going on. We've been here. We've done it. Um, we got two under our belt, one by double digits. One more. One more to the promised land. What do you say? Uh, let's go have a good warm-up. Get back in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, three. Everything you got. No regrets, baby. Regrets. They're on the side of aggressive. We've been here before. Do what we do. Let's get it. Oh, some cool. Have some fun. Let's go. Oh.
I love y'all boys. Let's get it. Who we are, what we do, one, two, three, four, five, let's go. Okay. So very proud of uh, our team. And, you know, to do it again is special. Four and six years uh, with as fine a group as I've ever had in 30 years, 29 years of, uh, of coaching. Team guys, selfless guys that represent the college in Spartanburg with um, unbelievable class. And to be able to come in here with that net and represent, uh, you know, our school and the NCAA tournament again is beyond comprehension. I'm really excited about it. What just happened, and let, if you haven't done this as long as, you know, some of us have done it, you take, take it for granted. Wofford was picked to win it. Um, Wofford was 16 and two in the regular season. You you hit the reset button when you come up here. It takes one bad night. It takes one bad night, or heaven forbid, um, an injury, uh, which occurred with the Acox kid, who's a really good basketball player. And you know you've got uh, you've got a problem. Um, and for this bunch to have that target on their backside from day one, and to take on all comers. Uh, I mean, high character people. You don't do it with uh, selfish, self-absorbed guys. You do it with guys that are about one thing, and that's winning. And these guys are about winning. What do we have to do to win? Our timeouts are. Our timeouts are. Uh, I, it's pretty comical at times, but. You hear things like body language. You hear things like stay together. Uh, you hear guys coaching uh, one another. And Skinner sometimes drowns me out, and that's okay. Uh, I'll take that from uh, a guy like uh, a guy like him. Um, great fun, unbelievable fun. It just uh, the team, uh, Coach Young, the coaches, they all mean a, a lot to me. Uh, for me as an individual to be in this position, it, uh, I can't even put in the word, in the words how much I love this team. And uh, I'd do anything for them. And if uh, anyone's going to, you know, take a hit to the chin or, or, or have to come up big, I, I want to go first. And I've, I've been that way since I stepped uh, in the locker room and uh, put on a jersey to play for Coach Young. And uh, I'm just really proud of our team and coaches and and uh, excited for the next week or two. And uh, we still got some more work to do. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I'm only a sophomore, so <laughs> I don't know what it's like to lose. Uh, <laughs> which, a good feeling. Yeah, it is. Um, so it makes, as long as Coach is happy, it, <laughs> Happy coach, happy life is is uh, our motto. So, and uh, t I just wanted to win it for uh, for Lee and Carl and John and send the seniors out the right way. Uh, and what a masterful uh, job he is doing. Um, you know, when you look at those pieces uh, with Fowler and uh, Sibley, uh, Stephen back another year, and um, Davis number one. A. Cox, a sophomore, you know, brick by brick. He's uh, doing it with the right guys. I, 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 I like their demeanor. Uh, and they, I mean, they caught it. They caught, they caught that lightning in a bottle. Uh, and I think it was about the time we played them in uh, one of the last regular season games. Maybe it was the last regular season game. Gosh, that seems like so long ago. Um, you know, but um, – they came up here to fight. They came up here to uh, to win it. And, you know, we've got some things going against us. Supposed to win, number one seed. Uh, holy cow, Chattanooga's gone. Mercer's gone. Um, and uh, they've got their ears laid back and and firing away. Uh, and, you know, I do. I'm I, so impressed with um, Coach Medved and Jay McCauley, who uh, was with me for a couple of years, and I love him. Uh, very much. He was terrific for uh, for our program. Um, they're on a good course, and I, uh, you know, I uh, I applaud them. Coach, it seems like no matter what kind of game he's having offensively or shooting, Carl Cochran always 
gets that shot yeah. down the stretch. Yeah. Tonight is one to put you on top for good. Sometimes he gets ten of them. Right, exactly. Uh, and sometimes he gets one of them. Uh, but a great, great observation, a good point. Uh, but he's going to change the game. He's going to affect the game, you know, blocking a shot, um, rebounding the ball, coming up with a 50-50 ball. Uh, his uh, work on uh, – on the uh, on the defensive end is a uh, thing of uh, thing of beauty, and that shot, you know, over there opposite our bench was was critical. Um, you know, with a lot of big plays. That was a huge one. Uh, Garcia's three, I think, put us up four. You know, needless to say, huge one. Um, good players, good players make us better coaches. It feels great. Uh, it's it's kind of different than last year. We knew we'd be uh, a higher seed, a 15 seed. But I think this year we get get a little bit lower seed. So um, any game we go into, we're confident and we think we can win. You know what's interesting, guys, and you know the game. Um, uh, Acox is very good, but but losing Acox forces them to go smaller. Now we got some matchup problems. We've got uh, you know Justin Gordon guarding Fowler. We've got Skinner guarding uh, Weidman. Um, they're playing uh, beans at the five, uh, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, when things happen like that, and you reshuffle the deck, and uh, you see some things that that you're not completely prepared for. You haven't uh, you haven't, you know, uh, studied and looked at as carefully as uh, you might have had you seen it, you know, coming in. We'd seen Fowler play some four. That's not my point, but uh, very little with Fowler and Beans at the four or five, and that's that's dicey. Shot clock at eight for Carl. Top of the key, Swinton. Ball fake. Jab step. Shot clock at four. One dribble, and he hits a 16-footer from just outside the right elbow. John Swinton. Stones. It out front, Swinton. Right side, high, Cochran. Cochran, left wing, Swinton. Swinton against Davis. Back out to Cochran. Cochran pointing to the floor with his right hand. Left wing, Swinton. Bounces inside to Skinner. Skinner with eight on the shot clock. Left wing, Swinton. Jab step against Davis with five with four. Cochran, long three-pointer gets the time roll to give Wofford the lead. He is out of options, and he puts in a three that took a little while to make up its mind. Wofford up 61-60. to 60. Collins 30 feet away and lobs it mid-post right now to Ferrara. Ferrara against Newman extends his elbow, spins left, back to his right, shovels it up, and he missed. And Newman has the rebound. Fowler got it inside to Ferrara, and Ferrara could not finish. Ferrara from the floor is now four for eight. He's had a decent night. Wofford up one with the ball. 2.45 to go. Collins drives to the left wing. Hand off Cochran. Cochran between the circles to Garcia against the 2-3 Furman zone. Cochran right wing to Skinner. Penetrates to the foul line. Left wing Garcia. Good look at a three ball. Got it. Eric Garcia hits a three. That one is huge. Wofford up four. One minute to play in Asheville. Carl Cochran between the circles, gives it up to Garcia. He'll reset. Furman has gone man-to-man now. Garcia with a word for Collins. Goes right side high. Newman return out front. Garcia. Garcia against Sibley. Shot clock at 13. Right wing Collins drives into the lane. Ball knocked out of his hands by Bruna Steele. Furman down two. 37 seconds to go. Driving left baseline. Fowler. Newman blocked it. Stop. Newman knocked it out of his hands. Rebound Terriers. And Cochran. 28 seconds to go. And Garcia is fouled with Wofford up two. Fowler will be the trigger. Furman has to go the length of the floor to shoot a three in 3.1 seconds. Fowler looking around. Gets it into Davis. Davis near side. Midcourt with one second. A heave at the buzzer. He's short. And the Wofford Terriers are going back to the dance it never gets old put on your dancing shoes baby we're going again students are rushing the floor oh baby he got a great look Swinton defended it well and I could watch this for hours. Back to the tournament for a fourth time in six years and back-to-back seasons. And they're still flowing 
out of the stands, 10 busloads of students celebrating on the floor with their team. Davis took a long three, I mean a long one. Yeah. It was an air ball. And the Wofford Terriers, after all the work, a 16-win regular season in the league, the number one seed, 28 wins now, including this one tonight, are headed for the championship game as they beat one of the most stubborn opponents you'll run across in a championship game, the Furman Paladins, who come up three points short trying to make history. Big shot after big shot, they played really hard, so did we. But back to the NCAA tournament we go. And I can't thank you enough, fellas. Can't thank you enough. Everybody right here, let's yeah. go! Yeah. 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 Team on three, one, two, three! Yeah.